Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this rainy morning. Ah, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 23. Jesus says these words. Then, if anyone says to you, behold, here he is, the Christ, or he is over here, do not believe him. So, behold, here is the Christ, or he is over here, do not believe him. So, then if anyone says. So, in this place, when everything is chaotic and the world is in an absolute tribulation, Jesus says, if anyone says to you. So that means there are going to be those who say to us then, even as there are those who say to us now. And Jesus says to them, if then they say to you, he's over here, meaning the Christ, the Messiah, Jesus returned to the earth to establish the process of judgment has come, he's here or he's over there, do not believe him. And that idea of do not believe him is an activity Jesus wants to wants us to exercise to make that choice to not get involved, distracted, lured into the journey of uncertainty. So he's saying, don't believe those who say he's over here or he's over there or he's coming now or he's here because Jesus says, no one knows. So don't believe him because no one knows. Don't believe them because no one knows. So if Jesus has made it so clear that no one knows the end of the age and the return of the Christ, why is it that so many people are saying they know or they're pointing to the facts that this is happening. So the end is here. The end is there. Why is it that we are getting so many messages indicating that people do know when the scripture is clearly indicated that only the father knows when the end of the age is going to come? So Jesus says to them quite clearly, use that part of you that makes decisions in regards to the evaluation of what is right and wrong, good and bad, true and false. He says, use that part of not believing these lies because they will lead you into distraction and lead you into deception. And it doesn't matter how many times I preach that message. People are drawn into that sense of fog regarding those who say they do know where he is and when he's coming and what's happening. But they don't know. And the scripture says they don't know. So we need to exercise our don't believe them part of the decision making process to not get caught up in their distractions. Because why are we getting caught up in their distractions? We are neglecting the reality of the presentation of the good news regarding those who need to hear this wonderful message. Have a great day. Be blessed. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.